Why do I feel more comfortable with weird people? It's hard to say because, weird, can mean a lot of different things, as can, normal. Anxiety about perfection. You feel like you can relax and be yourself around flawed people because you are flawed. We all are. It's not accurate. Even people you think are normal are flawed. 2. It's a symptom of anxiety. I can't say it's the same for you but maybe you'll relate. My entire life I've been friends with people that was cast aside for being, weird. The thing is I can act, normal, but I don't feel like my authentic self. Because I have to control my own behavior a lot more around, normal, people. I want to be able to make weird jokes and I don't like being judged for having pictures on my wall. Apparently it's tacky. Said that one person I was trying to befriend because she's a classmate. Yet I'm the weird one. That said, one thing I noticed with the time that most people have a weird side but some people are better at hiding it. Impromptu weird fun with a seemingly normal person is pretty awesome. We're all a bit weird in some ways. Weird tends to be more authentic and self-actualized. Normal tends to be people looking to fit into some kind of social norm, standard or just plain boring. 10 out of 10 I'll take an authentic weirdo who I disagree, argue with anyway over someone who always agrees to fit into a group and is boring AF. Because for some reason it's more familiar to you. It's more comfortable. Did you grow up around people like that? If yes then definitely this is the answer. Oh, 100%. Weirdos are my people. By which I mean, people who honor their own eccentricities without shame. And make space for others to do so. 2. If you're experiencing a lot of social anxiety the best thing you can do is see a therapist so you can talk it through. It could just be the case that you consider yourself weird and are more likely to seek people who you perceive to be like you. It's also possible you're neurodivergent and naturally find these situations difficult as a result. Or a hundred other reasons but talking to a therapist about it is the best way to start that path. And help yourself grow. Was the same for me realized later in life that I am neurodivergent. ADHD plus Asperger. And that weirdness was a way to find other neurodivergent people with which I connect easier. Because we'd speak the same nonverbal language. Can't say if it is the same for you but worth investigating I think. That said it might be hard to find good information on neurodivergence on Tay Internet. There is a lot of misinformation here, cough, autism speaks cough. I am using a specialized therapist as my source of information. If this is not something you can get maybe check some books. I do not have good recommendation for you sadly but maybe other Redditors would. But why shouldn't you? What is your definition of weird? Because it makes you feel comfortable to be weird with them. Essentially to be genuine. Opposed to some stuck up event where everyone is expected to look, act a certain way. I'm interested in what exactly you mean. Is it people who act or behave in a certain way more out there and zany that makes you more comfortable or more lifestyle choices? Not married, no children, less stable career choices. You won't get a brilliant answer to your question on Reddit because it could be for a whole host of reasons. But there's nothing wrong with being weird or from finding comfort around weird people. If could be as simple as you just relating better to them. It could be that you're attracted to the idea that they are more authentic and not putting on as much of a social performance. It could be related to neurodivergency in yourself. It could be related to social anxiety and feeling less judged by weird people than you are by what you describe as normal people. It could be something else entirely. Or a combination of these. Whatever the reason, maybe just accept it for what it is and be happy making weird friends.
they keep life interesting because they won't judge you as harshly for your own weird little quirks like seeks like i'm guessing and if i'm wrong that's okay that the pressure to be normal cool whatever is lifted when you are around someone who doesn't fit in and doesn't seem to care perceived expectations can be heavy because weird can often mean honest if someone is willing to let their freak flag fly without a care in the world. Chances are they are honest to themselves and will be to you as well. Plus, that genuineness is often contagious and can make you feel safe and secure in your own skin. When you're around people who are unapologetically themselves, it creates a space that allows you to let your guard down and follow suit. This is coming from a weirdo with weird friends. I think most weird people are just those who aren't afraid to be themselves around anyone. For instance I think we all get subjectively weirder around someone the closer we are to them. Same broken people are my people. Superiority? It's something a lot of people don't want to hear but it's true. Much more people are comfortable in a situation where they feel physically or even mentally superior to those around them, including me. Everyone has a different definition of normal, smiley face. Embrace what you like. I don't think there's really a difference between normal and weird. Every single person has their own weirdness or normalness it's just how you relate to specific types of people. I would be careful to place people in boxes and label them weird or normal. Especially if you do not know them. We're all individuals and we're all the same. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.